Hi everyone and welcome back to our Beauty Writer Roundup series on YouTube. My name's Amy Clark, I'm the Senior Editor at Adore and in this series basically myself and our other beauty writer staff just talk about whatever we want. Recaps, top 10, popular products, also trying some trends and how to's and so today we're actually going to talk about how I'm styling my hair at the moment with these Velcro rollers and a few other little tips and tricks because a couple of weeks ago I went and got myself that it haircut that everyone has at the moment. I swear it's all over my Instagram feed. So I went from having completely long hair all one length to now having this kind of collarbone cut with a specific fringe that does, believe it or not, need to be styled. So if you've seen this haircut on, on Instagram or TikTok and you want to know how to recreate it, I'm going to show you what I'm doing today as well as the products I use, the styling tools needed, just a few, you know, fun tips and tricks along the way. So the first step is well you get in the shower and you wash your hair so I did that last night because we're not allowed to show that on this channel today we're just gonna kind of recreate that by wetting the front part and pretending that the rest is still wet and I have actually changed up my shampoo and conditioner recently at the moment I'm using the Kevin Murphy plumping range so the wash and the rinse partly because it's just so bloody cute but also it's great for that shorter hair or if you have those layers that you want to bounce because it gives you that kind of plumped up, blow dry, TV, salon commercial look. So that's what I've been using, but you can use whatever you've got at home. You need some Velcro rollers. And essentially, unlike a heated roller where, you know, you kind of, you charge the rollers and they're hot and you wrap the hair around them and that's what actually sets and creates the style. This is a much kind of easier, low maintenance version where once you have applied heat to your hair, you then wrap the hair up into the style that you want and it just sits there by itself. You can leave them in for however long you want and that's just gonna help get you that bounce. These ones is a little kit from Mermaid. I think it's $19 for six rollers. They only come in one size. You will also need some hair clips of some description. If you plan to have them in for more than say 10, 15 minutes, which I like to do, and I'll explain why in a little bit. So keep watching. Then you're gonna want some clips just to clip them in place. These ones are literally the ones that I had at home. Also from the brand Mermaid, they're called grip clips, but you could use bobby pins. And then the third thing you need is some kind of heat tool. Myself and Chloe actually did a whole video reviewing different Bargain to Bougie hot air brushes. You can, is it here? Ding! Go and watch that video if you want some reviews on which hot brushes to buy. I'm using the Dyson Air app. This is the newest model, by the way. So this is the tool that I'm going to use to set my style before I wrap it in the roller. First thing you want to do is section your front fringe or your front layers. You basically want a little triangle at the top here. You can use your fingers or a comb like whatever works. And so this is, I guess, these front layers that I'm gonna be styling. Put my damp hair and clip it back like this. Usually if it was straight out the shower, it would already be damp, but for the purposes of today, I'm gonna to go ahead and dampen this whole section. Next thing I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit of heat protectant. Use whatever one you have handy. This one is the 11 Miracle Spray. Mmm, that smells really good. Next, you're gonna get your hot airbrush. I take my section and I turn it on. This is about to get a little bit noisy and we're going to wrap the hair around the brush like this and then start blow waving it and setting that style into the hair. If you pull upwards like this, you're gonna get some lift at the roots, which is always great, but just do it until you feel like you're done, you know? Other important factors that you always want to be wrapping the hair backwards over the brush like that rather than under because that will give you like one of those old school fringes that juts out in this direction. So always going away from the face. Okay. You get your Velcro roller while the hair is still warm. Very important. If you take too long and it cools down, you're going to lose the setting power because you want it to cool down in order to set the shape. You grab the hair by the end here and place it the ends at the end of the roller, tuck them in and you'll see the hair just grips to it because it's Velcro. And then you slowly start rolling the hair up and just kind of like use your hands to guide the hair to ensure that it all fits in the roller. You kind of keep pressing it in as you go, scooping up any loose hairs all the way to the top like that. A hot tip, 
press your hair into the Velcro as you go because that's what's going to help actually hold the roller in place. You kind of just like press the hair into the Velcro and if you're not like going to go for a run or anything that's going to stay in place. If you use more than one for example if I was really going all out bear in mind that the rest of my hair would be damp at this point. I could take another section near the front like this, do exactly the same process, roll that, maybe one on this side, roll that. For today's exercise, I reckon one is done. If I was going to get dressed, brush my teeth, have some breakfast, do my makeup, I would probably put a little grip clip in here just to keep it in place. And a little kind of secret tip of mine that I like to do is I like to do my hair, then get completely ready for the day, drive to work with the roller still in, and then by the end of the drive, that's when I'll take it out because the longer you have this in, the longer and better the style will last. I mean, we're not gonna sit here now for 20 minutes and let it set, but you can imagine 20 minutes later. Remove the clip and then you carefully kind of unwind the hair from the roller. If you really wanted this to last, you could spritz in a hairspray, a dry texture spray. I like the 11 Dry Finish Wax Spray, or good old dry shampoo also does the same thing. These Chloran ones are so affordable um, and just really good. Oh, okay, quick, gotta move fast. Once we come down, there I have my swishy salon worthy shape. Obviously the rest of my hair is great but if I was styling it myself at home, I would probably put a bit more effort into some of the other pieces so that it doesn't kind of look so disjointed. Something that you might see hairstylists do is this kind of pinching thing. You kind of want to set the hair into this in and out shape rather than pulling it back like that. So what you could do is get a little bit of your dry shampoo or texture spray and I'm just going to put a tiny bit in these front pieces here. Then you go zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. If you want to refresh this style on the second day or the third day, you can actually use a hot air brush or a Dyson Airwrap or something like this on dry hair. You don't have to go from damp. Any kind of heat applied and then chucking the rollers in. Dry shampoo for the oily roots and it's basically like you've got freshly done hair again. When I do that, I also like to add just a teeny tiny bit of a shine serum. This one is the Orilab Gloss Serum. And I just like to rub that through the ends and the front pieces because a lot of dry shampoo and dry texture spray can leave the hair looking a bit flat and matte. Whereas I'm after healthy, shiny, swishy TV commercial hair. And all of these products that I used in today's video are available at adorebeauty.com.au. See, TV commercial swishy hair. So that wraps up this short, shiny video on how to style curtain bangs. If you have any questions or want to find out any more information, chuck us a comment down below here. We'll also have the products linked. And here are some other handy hairstyling videos. See you next time.